It's time once again to turn back the clock and take a look at Swindon from a time gone by. More Swindon through the years, comparing the images from the past with those of a modern Swindon. And this time we're turning back the clock to the 1990s. It was boom time for Swindon. Expansion, conversion and improvements, all captured by the Swindon cable cameras for the weekly news programme This Is Swindon. We now look back at some of those images capturing a town in transition, frozen in time, in more Swindon Through the Years. Delving into the Swindon Cable Archive, we're turning back the clock to 1994. Another look at Swindon Through the Years. Our modern view sees us at North Star and the Swindon College site. The land at North Star was once part of the carriage and wagon works of the Great Western Railway. Over the years it's regularly been redeveloped, a good location being so close to the town centre and the railway station. We travel back to 1994 and the site was in the news as it had been suggested it could host a new proposed Sikh temple. In fact our modern views shows the site has been developed but not because the temple was built. The college has been expanded. Buildings now stand on what was empty land. In this view, we're looking across towards the railway station from North Star. The buildings house the Science and Research Councils. The land in the foreground is where the Sikh temple would have been built. And it's a familiar scene around the town. Trees, hedges and shrubs have all matured, hiding from view the buildings they surround in this more modern view. And the more up-to-date scene shows us a road has been built as part of a bus route that passes through North Star on its way to and from the town centre. In fact, it wasn't until 2001 the building work for the new temple got underway. North Star wasn't the eventual location chosen. The new temple was built on allotments at Kembury Street and cost £1.2 million to build and replaced a much smaller temple in Old Town. More recently, North Star's been the subject of speculation to further develop the site and provide new leisure opportunities. Plans include an indoor ski slope and a 5,000-seater arena as well as shops and a hotel. All plans that so far have failed to get off the drawing board. And while we're in the area, a glimpse at the White House Bridge and to the left, the Network Rail Electrification School, installed as part of the preparations to string up electric wires on the railway between London and Bristol. It's just another example of Swindon adapting to a changing modern world. Now to a modern location that probably very few people walk past. We are just off Great Western Way at Barnfield. Today it's the home of the DIY store B&Q. And of course in the summer you won't forget it's the home of the local sewage plant belonging to Thames Water. Let's turn back the clock to 1994. Here's the view from the same location. It shows the entrance to the sewage plant and the base for Thamesdown contractors. 
The contractors were an arm of the council that provided services such as refuse collection, street cleaning and the repair of council houses and they were based here at Barnfield. And if it all gets confusing, a reminder that back in 1994, the council running Swindon were known as Thamesdown Borough Council. The name changed to Swindon Borough Council coming just three years later in 1997. The old Thamesdown logo, representing water and grass in the shape of a T. These buildings were situated on the very edge of Great Western Way and we look through the railings to see the council's fueling point and the council refuse lorries queued up, ready for action. Here's the same view from the very same location 26 years later. Where the council depot once stood is now part of the B&Q Superstore. The council land at Barnfield was sold off in 2007 and B&Q opened one of the biggest DIY superstores in the country. It's a total transformation. B&Q, of course, moved here after leaving their smaller store in Fleming Way. And at the time, the council's recycling centre was also at Barnfield. The area has totally changed over the years and is unrecognisable from the earlier scenes. It makes for an interesting memory. Everything in this view has changed, even the name of the council. Our modern view takes us to the Blade Grove Industrial Estate and the buildings in view will today top-end prestige car showrooms. But it wasn't always that way. We turn back the clock to 1994 and see that this site was home to Motorola's Cellular Infrastructure Division. This was where Motorola was based before the American telecommunications company moved to their purpose-built, sci-fi looking building at Groundwell. At one point the company even manufactured mobile phones in the town. The 1994 views were taken four years before the Queen came to town to open the new futuristic offices in Thamesdown Drive in 1998. In fact our images show one of the very few constants on the site, the shrubs that border the footpath. At one point Motorola employed more than 2,750 people in Swindon in the design and development of mobile phones, but in 2010 the company was down to just 500 employees. They sold the building at Groundwell and moved to the Trilogy building at Kembury Park. But the buildings at Blaygrove remain, playing a new role. No longer phone technology, but top-of-the-range cars. No sign of the part they once played in telecommunications. It's time for school. We're at Kingsdown School in Stratton St Margaret for our more modern views. But let's rewind the clock back to 1994. These shots show the front of the school from the main road, Ermine Street. The modern views reflect how schools have had to become much more security conscious. New railings and signs surround the grounds. Kingsdown was built in the mid-1930s when Wiltshire County Council bought seven acres of land for just £750 from the local brewers, Arkles. Kingsdown School was officially opened by the Marquis of Bath in January 1937. 
The posts for the sign still stand, but the sign has been replaced. Across the years, Kingsdown has grown from a five-classroom building to a school with over 60 classrooms, considerable expansion taking place to cope with Swindon's eastern expansion, new classrooms and modern facilities. These then and now views compare the modern scene with those from a quarter of a century ago. In 2011, Kingsdown School took ownership of the old Raychem Sports Centre nearby and after an extensive refurbishment programme, created the Kingsdown Sports Centre. Ever security conscious days, high fencing now surrounds the school site with a lockable school gate. The school's courtyard has been transformed into a covered area and a new canopy erected to shelter students between the main hall and the library. The school's locked gates are certainly a sign of the times. We'll have more Swindon through the years coming soon, but in the meantime, please do remember, like, comment and share. We'd like to hear your memories of a changing town. And look out, more Swindon through the years coming soon.